Well, Abby, back in 2020, the governor entered into compacts with four smaller tribes here in the state, but he did it without approval from state lawmakers. So after state lawmakers asked him to step in, the AG says he will enter into a federal lawsuit challenging the legality of those gaming compacts. This suit was originally brought by the Cherokee Nation and three other larger tribes against the U.S. Department of Interior as they were the ones who had approved the gaming compacts. Those compacts were made with these four smaller tribes, the Comanche Nation, the Oto Missouria, the Kaligi Tribal Town, and the UKB of Cherokee Indians. Drummond says stick caused the state to be pulled into a long-running and costly litigation and that the state's relationships with the tribes have suffered greatly as a result of divisive rhetoric. And I agree with the governor 99% of the time. And I consider him a friend and a great advocate for the state of Oklahoma. In this instance, he has pivoted into the ditch, getting bad legal advice and violating the law. A spokesperson for the governor today responding to the AG's announcement saying Drummond is turning the back, turning his back on four smaller tribes who are being sued by Oklahoma's wealthiest tribes. He also said the spokesperson also said that Drummond is assisting in the larger tribes pursuit of making Tulsa and eastern Oklahoma a pretty much one large reservation. Guys, back to you. Well, Andy, before you go, a question for you. With the suit already being some three years old, how far are we from a resolution or a decision in the case? Well, Zach, it being three years old, it's a very it's a long term lawsuit. The AG told me pretty much he's at the mercy of a federal court in D.C. So right now there's no imminent end of this case in sight.